The OWTU won't support privatization of Petrochem, neither will they sit back and support job cuts. The OWTU leader Ansel Roger spoke to reporters before entering the industrial court to continue negotiations for the bargaining period 2011 to 2014. Mr. Roger said the downfall of Petrochem can't be blamed on the workers but management. He added progressive governments over the years contributed to Petrochem's downfall. We are not going to accept any job cuts in Petrochem, none whatsoever. In fact, Petrochem has been placed into um, more challenging circumstances simply because of the failure to address the need to fill manpower in critical operational and technical areas. He also discouraged any idea the government may have about privatizing the state-owned company and called out individuals who were commenting on the issue, saying they have no freedom to talk. Reject out of hand. Mariano Brown, former Minister Conrad Ellen, Enil, Minister, former Minister Ram Narayan, and Malcolm Jones, and all of those who failed Petrochin in Petrochin's time of need. They are crawling out of under their rocks and out of their holes now to comment simply because the workers who deserve a uh, fair and just uh, wage increase would have settled a 5% interim adjustment and so on. Former Minister in the Ministry of Finance, Mariano Brown, says privatization of state-owned Petrochem is not on the cards at this time. He told Good Morning Trinidad and Tobago, people buy assets which are making a profit, and Petrochem is not. If we're talking privatization, it is at least 10 to 15 years down the road. It's not here at all. So privatization is a total non-issue in these circumstances. And to raise it at all in the context of the difficulties that we have is a non-issue. You have to fix Petrotrin. If you have to privatize it, you have to get some value for it. You have to, you have to privatize something that is, has the possibility of earning money. And private, if you are privatizing it, that also means that all the economic decisions that you have to take, which means cutting staff, realigning the business, cutting expenses, all of these things have to happen now. Speaking on the Prime Minister's address to the nation on Wednesday, Mr. Brown said Dr. Rowley failed to justify the 5% salary increase to the Petrochem workers. Adding to that, he said, the Prime Minister's statement that government won't have to pay the salary increase to the workers as this will come from productivity does not make sense. The answer is that it immediately becomes part of my debt and therefore has to be taken account in my financial statements, whether I pay cash rate or not. So as a financial analyst, and I'm looking at the current financial position of the company. I have added $250 million in expenses. Full stop. They tell me that I don't have to pay today or I could pay sometime or some later on in the future. That is, that is, that is from a financial perspective, from an analytical perspective, it becomes due and payable. Therefore, it is part of the debt load of the company. It makes the company worse off immediately. The concept of where we have to pay it and so on has to do with cash flow. 